Hello, my name is Kevin Dolby. I'm a professor of chemical biology and medicinal chemistry here at the University of Texas at Austin in the College of Pharmacy. One of the great things about coming to the College of Pharmacy to do your PharmD degree is that you have opportunities also to do research in the college and also in colleges across campus. Alternatively, we have an honors program this is a program that allows you to conduct research during your PharmD training with a faculty mentor. And at the conclusion of this training, you would uh, write an, an honors thesis. Hi, my name is Jamie Barner, and I'm a professor, and I'm also the division head in health outcomes and pharmacy practice. And I am delighted to talk to you about the honors program. My name is Bobby Lamontane. I'm a graduate of the UT College of Pharmacy, class of 2017. I'm here to talk about my research experience. Hi, my name is Judith Rendon and I am currently a P3 here at the UT College of Pharmacy and I am currently in the Honors Program. I actually am a graduate of this fine College of Pharmacy and I was part of the very first Honors Program that they uh, offered here. Um, why did I decide on the Honors Program? Did I come to pharmacy school thinking I want to do research and I want to be in the Honors Program? No. I didn't. I had absolutely no research experience coming into it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was staunchly opposed to doing research and it was something that wasn't at all uh, interested in doing and, and, and kind of fell into it by participating in someone else's research programs. Pharmacy is a very, um, it's a very competitive field. Uh, there's more and more pharmacists coming out and I think it's a great way to um, not only you know, set yourself apart, but also um, it's a great way to network with, with people. Um, and so uh, in addition to that, I think as pharmacists, it's really important for us to continue to contribute to the profession um, post pharmacy school. And I think that's a great way to um, introduce yourself to the field of research and, you know, something that you can continue post-graduation. The time commitment to be able to do research really depends on the professor you're working with in the lab. A lot of times you have wet lab um, opportunities and so that will require you to, you to be in lab certain periods of time and sometimes the professor will allow you to do work at home so you don't necessarily have to spend hours in a certain area, you can just kind of do it at your own pace. I decided on the honors program honestly because a faculty member approached me and talked to me about a different way of thinking, different career opportunities and something else new to learn. And so while I was in pharmacy school, I really thought, you know what, I want to try this out. I have worked in community pharmacy and I would learned about a lot of other settings, but I didn't know a lot about research. And so I think I, for me, research was a little bit of a scary word, but really what research is, is asking questions, critically evaluating them, and determining a, a, um, methods to be able to answer those research questions. I've had some really great um, experiences just through, through my research, so um, I've had the opportunity to present my, my research findings at Celebrating Research Day here on UT campus, uh, as well as was able to go to California and present my research at the American Association of Colleges of Pharmacy. Um, and then probably the coolest experience that I was able to do was travel to uh, Buenos Aires, Argentina uh, for the International Pharmaceutical Federation's World Congress and pre uh, present my research there. My advice for students that are interested in doing research is to go for it. A lot of times we can get a little bit nervous when we see these incredible professors doing so many great things, just approaching them to talk about their lab. But if you're even slightly interested in what they're doing, I highly encourage you to go and speak to them. One piece of advice that I would like to offer the incoming P1 students is to explore as many research um, labs that you can because you may be surprised at all the different types of research that you can be involved in. So now that you've heard about some of the opportunities in the college, I'd like to tell you about some other opportunities that we have. We have research problem courses and then beyond that, if you really are just interested in doing research, you should feel free to contact faculty in the college who are really interested in actually talking about their research all the time.